Well, hello, my YouTube friend. Uh, finally, finally, I'm going to make the review uh, about that Marvel, that uh, art piece that I got, I would say almost a couple of weeks ago now. And uh, you know me by now, for those of you who follow me here or on Instagram, you know that I'm quite excited. <laughs> and, and when I receive something, the odds are high that I'm going to make the review of it uh, uh, almost instantly. Uh, because, you know, I don't need really to have a lot of pocket time, especially for art pieces, uh, to describe the value of a knife. And, you know, in time, you don't need really to carry a knife for a while. And actually, I will never carry this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, but you know what I mean. I mean, uh, after some time, it's easier to make a review uh, when it's still an overview. But I have it for a couple of weeks and I didn't know what angle to take uh, to review that knife. And uh, truth be told, I still, <laughs> I still don't know. But still, since we're talking about art, maybe that's going to be the theme of this video, probably an art review uh, of an art uh, piece. So you don't know where it starts, you don't know where it ends. That's art. <laughs> what can I say? In uh, the common life, I would say that I'm really close to the philosophy of, uh, you see, <laughs> it already starts <laughs> to be erratic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm close to the philosophy of Confucius on, on some points, not all, but I'm trying to be uh, in the middle. And in all things, I, start, I, I tend uh, to find the middle, you know, uh, uh, in my behavior, in everything, this balance that is quite missing to uh, our fellow men lately. Most of the time they go to the extreme, and that's really unfortunate. Uh, one should tend to stay uh, in the middle. But in art, I think that there is no place for the middle. I think that art is the, the as passion, as everything uh, as that, that, that you know involves passion uh, or feelings, you have to be in the extreme. And uh, when you are in the extreme, I think that there is a process in your brain uh, that doesn't allow you to be extreme at all points. So where I'm going to? I think that whenever you are extreme on some point, you have to be a, a little bit less. And it cannot be extreme on all points. And uh, um, I mean, when you're talking about painting, for example, uh, the only thing that is required is to be extreme in the painting. That's it. You know, that, that, that's it. But when you're talking about a knife, there are other things involved than uh, the pure art. You have... Uh, the, 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 the mechanics and you have the tool and that's always what I'm trying to you know to review on my knives uh, and to insist on those three points you know the, the, the artistic part the mechanical part and uh, the tool itself as a knife you know uh, uh, whether it's a nice carry or, or whatever you know you know what I mean okay uh, on most of my knife basically you had a lot of things, you know, knife with a lot of art, knife with, with crazy mechanics and everything, you know. But this knife, I think that it has a league of its own. Uh, it cannot be set uh, in any kind of league. So if I'm going to start a review, and this is where I was, uh, uh, you know, confused. If I'm going to start a review and, and, and take, you know, all the features are artistic, you know, uh, uh, mechanics and, and, uh, um, and the tool... Uh, it had a discrepancy. It had a natural and predictable, I would say, after some time, discrepancy. Because this is too extreme as an art piece to be considered as a knife uh, and, uh, and, and as a mechanical, you know, uh, engineering uh, item, you know. And I think that even in the, in the process of the brain of the maker, of the artist, uh, the connection doesn't work the same way whenever you make an art piece and when you make a knife, just a, a simple knife. And why, why, why I'm saying that, uh, this knife, as we're going to see, had some discrepancy, as I say, between the art uh, features and the mechanical features and the stuff, you see. But Jeremy Marsh is an extremely, I mean, I know him and I know his work, is an extremely, extremely well, uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, talented knife maker. So you're going to have a lot of his knives that will have uh, better features, be better mechanical features uh, than this one, uh, and better, I mean, functionality uh, as a tool as this one. But none of them. I mean it literally. None of them will have the extreme artistry that this one have. And I think that even in the same person, you know, when the art is involved 
that much, uh, it leaves some room for the rest. So now let's, <laughs> after five minutes, at last the review. And you know what? Let's clear the elephant out of the room and say that the minor discrepancy that we're going to have this, with this knife is... First, you know, the choice of material. I, I mean, as, as a tool, I mean, who would want to have iron wood, which is heavy as hell, mokume, which is heavy as hell, <laughs> and absolutely not functional for, 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 for a tool, you know? And even more important, who would want to have a clip uh, uh, in Mokume, which is one of the softest materials that can exist? And you know what? Uh, even the first clip that was built, this one, that had a pattern that was matching more, you know, the bolster, uh, eventually broke as you can see here, because Mokume is really, really, really soft. And I'm happy, actually, that it broke because uh, I like to, you know, on this side, there, are, there is a lot of Mokume. So to have a kind of contrast between this kind of pattern, this one and, uh, and the iron wood is kind of neat, you know. Uh, with this one, it was, I would say, too even, you see. You see, yeah, yeah, you see the evenness. Uh, I mean, it's nice, but I like, you know, some contrast. And actually, this clip, the previous one, was smaller, as you can see as the new one, so I'm really, really happy that there was this chance. But you see what I mean, you know, that, that right there, uh, our uh, bizarre choice. Then the action, I mean, the, with a humongous blade as this one, uh, the flipping action is not going to be the best in the world. And with a liner lock like this one, uh, you can tell that uh, I mean, there, there's going to be some kind of play, a little bit. I mean, nothing crazy. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. The action is just great, as you can see. I mean, it flips really well, but you can miss flipping. You know, it's not the best flipper in the world. You can see uh, the detent is good, very good, man, actually. But, you know, the action is not the, the, the snappiest in the world. So it cannot compare to an RJ Martin to a good flipper or something like that, because the action is not going to be obviously as good. It's going to be a little bit of play, but you see what I mean. Those are what I wanted to clear before uh, 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 speaking about the art. And I'm not going to speak a lot about the art, actually, because you have all have eyes and uh, we only have eight minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, of course, we're going to speak about that. But that was my, my point that I wanted to address. Whenever you're going to be as crazy in art as this one, you're going to have some little bit of discrepancy. And this knife has, so I had to mention it. But do I care? Absolutely not. Would I want to have this knife in my pocket? By no freaking means. I mean, <laughs> the clip will break, it will have some, some marks and everything. This is a pure art piece. And this is where I'm heading. This is my favorite, favorite knife, art knife in my collection. I have a lot and I had a lot of knives and I held a lot, but none of the knives that I had uh, gives me uh, the, 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 the thrills as this one uh, does. Those lines, as crazy as they are, uh, and this is what I like actually, are just insane. All those roundness in this handle. Look at this bold tab. I mean, you know me, I hate bigger tabs like that. Look at this one. It's huge here. It doesn't even follow the line of the bolster here. It breaks that. But actually, it makes, I mean, who would want to have not the tab here. I mean, it would break something in the line. The tab here is part of the artistry. And the fact that it's here like that, it's pure part of the artistry. So let's go now and review the beauty of that knife. So we have here a bolster. And, you know, uh, uh, as uh, 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 the craftsmanship is absolutely impeccable. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the, the, the thing that I mentioned were just minor discrepancy. The The... The junction that you have here between the bolster and the beautiful piece of iron wood is just superb. The hardware is in titanium, very nicely done. This piece with this pattern of Mokume is just crazy. Look at this three color Mokume. Just brilliant and such a nice work done on it. I love the curve on the bolster here. Very, very nice. What is to say about those standoffs in Mokume? Also with the three colors, very nice. Like I said, you have this different pattern here, still three colors, but you see it, it makes some kind of contrast, really nice contrast with this big, bold and artsy clip. Who would want, I mean, who would design a clip like that? It's incredible. Jeremy has a really nice eye for the art. Uh, same here, very nice junction, titanium uh, hardware too, beautifully executed. And this ironwood man is one of the most artsy material I would choose. I mean, 
you know, uh, I have my Lee Lerman, I have, uh, I mean, Ironwood and stuff, whatever it is, it's just a great mix for art knife. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am absolutely overwhelmed each time I look at this knife. The, the, the craftsmanship is also good here. Uh, no gap here between all the material. The liners have been uh, bronzed, which is really even with the Mokume, very nicely done. Look at that. Perfectly centered. As I told you, the blade is humongous, and yet, as you can see, the retention is great and perfectly centered. So you see, we have nice mechanical feature. Now, let's talk about this beautiful, exquisite blade that we have here. A Hamon, probably the best I've ever seen, because you still have, you know, the colors. Uh, usually the Hamon is either too dark or you're going to be like satin to get a nice hand rub. This one is absolutely... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's... <laughs> at least we have here something that's going to be in the middle theory that I really like and I crave, because this one is not as deep uh, and as dark as the other one, and you can see the lines here of the, the hand rubbed. Yeah, you, so, so you see, it's a hammer in, in the middle. And, and, and it's such an exquisite hammer. The grind is such a nice grind. This line that goes up here is really unusual for a knife. I mean, usually the, the, it's either even or it's going down like that. But this is part also of the art. This blade shape is incredible. How you want to call it? A world leaf? Yeah, whatever. What, uh, it, it's, it's a beauty. Here, the... the, the the hollow is impeccable. You have absolutely no gap what, uh, no bump, sorry, whatsoever. The swedge is beautifully done. Man, those lines are driving me insane. Look at this jimping. Uh, I, I don't know any other blade that, that would bring me such... Uh, I mean, oh, such an O. I'm in shock and O each time I look at this knife. And, and, and it's not going any better. I mean, it's not going any worse, sorry. I mean, it's getting uh, only better with time. The, the design itself of the Vanquish is absolutely phenomenal. And I can't wait to get a mini Vanquish because this one is the full-size Vanquish. Man, whenever I get that, and hopefully I will get one from Jeremy at some point. It's been long overdue <laughs> knife. This is going to make my day. I mean, those are going to be the couple of knives, the pair of knives that I will love the most. Uh, I'm sorry because, you know, you have some pollution uh, all around us and my, my voice uh, is polluting the beauty of that knife. And for that, I apologize for you guys and for the maker also. Uh, usually, usually I don't like logo, but you know Jeremy's logo here is absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the engagement to go back again, as I told you, it's going to be erratic huh? and even more than usual. So the engagement is nice. I told you there's a little tiny bit of play, but again with the thinness of the liner and the thickness of this blade, it had to be a, a little bit expected. Now, what more can I say about this marvelous knife that I uh, uh, omitted? Probably not much, probably not much. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, uh, I mentioned the tool. I mean, of course, again, I'm not gonna use that knife for no means, but believe me, uh, the grinding is excellent. Uh, the only discrepancy I've talked about was, you know, the minor, I mean, the choice of material and the, the action that was just a little bit, as you saw, uh, a little bit weak and the play. Okay, that's it. But for the rest, I mean, the grinding is sublime. I mean, I, I, it, it's among the best grind that I've seen. And uh, the, I mean, the, 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 the sharpness is laser sharp. I'm not going to try it here, but believe me, it's absolutely laser sharp. Uh, it would cut Godzilla's balls <laughs> in a minute. I'm totally uh, becoming crazy now, and I need to stop this video that has uh, uh, been enough already, because you know what? It, 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 just by looking at it, I mean, giving you the possibility to have beautiful views uh, of this knife was enough. My again, my my, <laughs> my my voice was too much probably, but this is how I am, and I have uh, to stay how I am. I mean, uh, uh, I'm not going to change up my age now. Uh, just one last word to say that there is no stickness. A little bit pinchy because art wise, uh, he didn't want. I mean, he wanted to bolster to be even with the liner here. So there is absolutely no stickness, nothing. But it's a little bit pinchy because uh, your, your uh, 
skin can be you know catched in a little bit in the, in the middle here but uh man this knife is just incredible and with that being said my friend i will leave it at that because that video was probably was